Before we get started, I wanted to introduce the theme that we're doing today, and it's called Rhythm is a Regulator. So by that, I mean that when we practice and we keep a certain rhythm, it can be um, very regulating for the systems of our body. So I want to share um, a little bit of reading from um, this breath book that I've been sharing with you guys, um, this yellow cover breath book that was in the newsletter. And I thought this was really, really fascinating. So they're talking about slower breathing, which we do a lot in this practice. And um, the author says slow breathing goes by another name. And he says that's prayer. And he goes on to talk about when Buddhist monks chant um, their mantra, which we're going to use today in practice, Om Mani Padme Hum is a very popular Buddhist chant. We use it in yoga sometimes too. So that spoken phrase lasts about six seconds with about six seconds to inhale before you repeat it again, if you're doing it out loud. We're going to just kind of do it in our minds today. And then he goes on to talk about other traditions. Um, Japanese, African, Hawaiian, Native American, Buddhist, Taoist, Christian, all these cultures and religions have similar different prayer techniques that require the same breathing patterns. And they all have a calming effect on our nervous system when we go in this rhythm. And then that rhythm is about 5.5 to 6 seconds. Um, and then there's a university in Italy gathered uh, two dozen subjects, put sensors all over their bodies, on their heart, their nervous system, and had them recite uh, the Buddhist mantra, as well as the original Latin version of the rosary, um, the Catholic prayer cycle of Ave Maria. And they were stunned to find the average number of breaths for each cycle was almost exactly identical just a bit quicker than the pace of the Hindu, Taoist, and Native American prayers, so 5.5 minutes. And then they measured all these qualities using these sensors and found that blood flow to the brain increased, the systems of the body entered a state of coherence where the heart, circulation, nervous system are all coordinated to peak efficiency. And all it turned out that the most efficient breathing rhythm occurred when the length of respirations and total breaths per minute were locked into the symmetry of 5.5 inhale, 5.5 exhale, and that comes out to be about 5.5 breaths per minute. So it's really interesting. So it's, um, what we're going to do is work with that mantra. And if you don't like the Om Mane Padme Hum, you could do a couch. So you could go one, two, three, four, five with a slight pause, or even six. Or if you have your own, you could use your own as well. So we're going to work with that, using it like with every movement, we're going to try and keep that same rhythm to help bring our systems into coherence and hopefully benefit from some of those things that they talked about in the article. So let's go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Widen out your sit bones. Be right on the tops of them. Lengthen out through the crown of your head. And then we're just going to maybe close the eyes or find a soft focal point. And we'll start to just first focus on your breath. No mantra. We'll work that in eventually. So let's follow your inhales and your exhales. And see if you can start to slow the pacing down a little bit. Sometimes we have to rush to get somewhere. Our breath might be a little erratic initially. But as we find stillness and we bring our awareness to the breath, it can start to smooth out, start to slow down. Take a few more moments. And as we talked about last week, letting the breath be very subtle, fine, soft. So 
although I teach some of these concepts in isolation, we can still bring them back in into uh, other practices. So now when you're ready, we're gonna start to add in this mantra. So I'm gonna repeat it out loud with you a few times. And let's go ahead, we'll do some arm movements. That'll make it a little easier to see the inhale and the exhale. So let's inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms down. Good. So now we're gonna do it. You can repeat the mantra in your mind. Om Mane Padme Hum. Om Mane Padme Hum. Now go ahead and continue that on your own. You can just repeat that in your mind so that you keep that correct pacing of about 5.5 .5 to 6 seconds. Let's do that two more rounds. So once we kind of establish this, you might not even need to repeat the mantra in your mind the whole practice, but we want to kind of get into this sense of coherence and a sense of a good pacing so we're not rushing along. Okay, so let that go for a moment. So Om Mani Padme Hum is a, a mantra that means the jewel in the lotus. So Padme is a, the word for lotus. And the whole chant kind of refers to finding the wisdom within. It's sort of, um, let me just read this to you guys. It's also said that when we chant this mantra, it relates to the union between our mind, body, spirit, and transforming our impure body, speech, and mind into the exalted body, speech, and mind of a Buddha, reminding ourselves that not to seek Buddhahood outside ourselves, but the substance for achievement of that are within. So not that we're all gonna become Buddhists, but that's the idea of it, just kind of finding that source of wisdom within ourselves. So let's go ahead and do some other movements. Let's switch our legs since we've been sitting there for a while. So just switch the legs, widen out your sit bones again. And now we're gonna make circles with our rib cage. So you're just gonna circle your rib cage around. And let's see if we can make one circle to be one round of the chant. So when you come back to the front, Om Mane Padme Hum, back to the front. So in your mind, see if you can pace it so that we're doing that to the beat of the mantra, or you could count, or use any other mantra that you like. That's about the same length. And now let's reverse it the other way. Om Mane Padme Hum. Om Mane Padme Hum. Couple more rounds in this direction. One more time. and then back to the center. Okay, let's move into a tabletop position from here. Grab your padding if you like to pad the knees. And let's keep with that same pacing as we do our cat cows. So inhale, om mane padme hum. Exhale, Om Mane Padme Hum. Keep that going on your own for a few more cycles. And if you notice you're speeding up, come back to counting things out or using the mantra. Two more cycles. Mm -hmm. 
After your next exhalation, complete your exhale, come into neutral, and let's move back into a gentle child's pose. So you can put hands under your forehead if you like, lock under your forehead if you like. And just let your hips take a little sway side to side. So swaying your hips. Creates a little rhythm when we rock in our poses. And then we're going to come back up into our tabletop position. We're going to do a couple different things here in tabletop. So if any time you need to break off your knees, feel free to just take a quick down dog. We're going to circle the hips around now, just like we circled our rib cage. And again, try to make each circle one round of the mantra. Om Mane Padme Hum. And then reverse your circle, go the other direction. Back to the center. Let's take the hands slightly forward of the shoulders, take an inhale. Exhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Take a couple rounds like that. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. And then knees down to the ground. Go ahead and grab your blocks. And we're going to step forward with the right foot. Coming into our lunge. Okay, as you inhale, let's reach the arms up and overhead. And as you exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Now, if it's hard to hold your hands this early in practice, just grab your strap and use your strap. Keep the elbows from locking, shoulder heads back and extend through the crown of your head. I'm gonna take an inhale, exhale deepen into the lunge. We're gonna repeat that, moving to the pace of your mantra. So every inhale, every exhale, is it going to be about five to six seconds long? I'm not going to speak it out loud every time because we'll all be at slightly different paces, but do that two more times. If at any time you forget the mantra, just count it out. Good. From here, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down to your block. Step that foot back. And let's do the other side. Foot forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Again, keep palms loose, elbows are unlocked, shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, deepen. And do that a few more rounds. Inhale, we back out a little. Exhale, into the lunge. Two more cycles.
One more time. Next inhale, we release, take the arms up, and then hands down, step back, tabletop position. Set your blocks to the side near the top of your mat. And then let's lift up, downward facing dog again. Get off those knees. Take a moment, just pedal out your feet. And just go nice and slowly, nice slow rhythm. So a lot of the practice today will be doing things in repetition so that we get into that nice rhythm. Then we'll go in and out of poses. We'll do a couple holds as well. All right, I just want to give you a little break off the knees. Bring your knees back down to the ground. Now we're gonna go through our balancing tabletop. Right arm, right leg on the inhale. Exhale, release. Left arm, left leg on the, or left arm, right leg on the inhale. That would be a little uh, tricky to balance. Release, so opposite arm, opposite leg. See if you can repeat your mantra. So you stay at that slow pace. It really keeps us in the moment as well when we work with the mantra or a count. So we can't space out. We can't check out and go somewhere else and avoid the present moment. Last one. All right, and then from here, we're coming back up to our dog, but walk your hands back to your feet and take any blankets out of the way. We're gonna do our standing work. As you inhale, let's reach those arms all the way out and up. And exhale, release, arms down. Okay, let's go through our half sun salutations and see if we can make every breath at that same pace. Okay, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Two more cycles, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach. Exhale to the heart. And one more time through, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach. And exhale to the heart. So a couple other things that, that help with this is that when we stick with that same pacing, our inhales and exhales are the same length, which is really beneficial. A lot of times we have a shorter exhale, which is why I'm always emphasizing longer exhales, longer exhales. Um, and then we, if we take in more on the inhale, it actually can cause more agitation, anxiety, stressful feelings, panic attacks. So we want to always complete those exhales. So if we work at that pace, the exhales will be the same count. Okay, from here, we're going to step toward the back of our mat. And if you're not there, step your right foot forward, spin your back heel down. We're coming into warrior one position. 
Bend your front knee and reach your arms up. Good, and then from here, we're gonna inhale, straighten that front leg. And as you exhale, bend and circle the hands back to the heart. Good, inhale, straighten the front leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, circle. Now add your mantra in your mind. Let's do three more cycles. Make sure you're finishing out those exhalations. Try to keep inhales and exhales same length. One more time. Pause with your hands at your heart. Back leg is straight, root into your heel. And we're going to interlace the hands behind our back like we did earlier. Try not to lock the elbows, pull the shoulders back. We're going to inhale here, exhale, hinge forward. Make sure your chin is in, you're not sticking your chin out. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forward. How far forward you go? Totally negotiable. Do what feels right for you. Inhale up, exhale. One more time. Next time you come up, release the arms, take them overhead. Straighten that front leg just for a little break on your quad and rebend. Hold it here for five breaths. Your arms are too much up, you can bring them to your heart. Keep that same pacing with your breath. Press through your feet, reach your fingers for the sky. Good, release, hands to your hips, step forward, switch your legs. So warrior one on the other side, left foot forward, hands at your heart. And we start by inhaling, arms reach, straighten the front leg, exhale and bend. Good, four more times. Omane Padme Hum. Two more. When you practice this way, it also brings a very meditative quality to your practice. Last one. And hold it here, interlace your hands behind your back. Stay a little loose in the palms and the elbows, shoulder heads back. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward. And repeat, inhale, come up. Exhale, forward. Keep it going. Last one, and then we're going to hold our warrior one. Okay, next inhale, arms reach up, straighten that front leg, give a little break to your leg. 
and then re-bend. Hold for five breaths. Press your heels into the ground, lift to your chest or your arms. Soften your gaze. Last breath here. And release your hands down to your hips, step it forward. And then we're gonna face middle of the mat and we're gonna need our blocks. So grab your blocks and put them in front of you. Some of you might not need them, but they're there if you do. And we're gonna step the feet apart wide. Okay, pause here, put your feet down, lift up for your chest. And then we're gonna come into warrior two position, turn your right leg out left toes in a little bit, bend that right knee, reach the arms up. Arms are at shoulder height, press to the feet, lift your chest. Good, so we're gonna add a circular movement of the arms. So we're gonna straighten the front leg, sweep the arms down, circle them up and overhead, and then re-bend into warrior two. Good, so one cycle will be the Om Mani Padme Ha. Good, inhale. And then exhale as you come into it. Good. Do that again. Inhale, Om Mane Padme Hum. Exhale, Om Mane Padme Hum. Good, on your own, three more. One more time. Then hold your warrior two. Come into reverse warrior on your inhale. And into side angle on your exhale. Forearms to thigh, top arm reaches up and over your ear. Good, same pacing, inhale up. Exhale forward. If your leg gets tired, straighten the leg as you do your reverse. That's an option. If you want that extra quad work, keep that knee bent. Good, I think we've got two more. <laughs> Last one. Good, inhale up, warrior two, straighten that front leg. Take a pause and re-bend. Hold for five breaths. Look over your front fingers, find that same pacing. Press the heels into the ground. Your leg gets tired, straighten it out for a moment. Come back into it. Last breath here. And on your next inhale, circle the arms down and up, straighten the front leg, parallel your feet and bring your hands onto your hips. Pause there, take a breath. Okay, let's do that sequence on the other side. So warrior two to your left side, turn your left leg out, right toes in a little bit, bend that knee and take your arms out. Good, so first round we're doing the circling. So we're gonna straighten the front leg, circle the arms down and up, and then back to your warrior two. 
That's a sweep down, inhale. Exhale, back to your warrior two. Three more times with your mantra. Last one. Good, hold it here, warrior two. And then inhale back to reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Good, repeat. If that front leg gets tired, straighten that front leg. Give it a little break. Three more times. Last one. Notice if you get ahead, come back to your warrior two and we'll straighten that front leg, give it a little break. And rebend. Five breaths. Soft gaze out over your left fingertips. Press through your heels. One more breath. Good, from here, circle the arms down. Inhale, sweep them up, straighten the front leg, parallel your feet, and bring your hands onto your hips. Good, pause here for a breath. Okay, we're gonna bend our knees, hinge forward, and bring your hands to your blocks. Now, if it's easy for you to reach the floor without rounding your back, you can lose the blocks. Those of you who can, lower your blocks down onto the lower setting if that feels appropriate for you. We're gonna be doing a twist with our rhythmic movement. So let's go ahead and take one of the blocks out of the way, put the other block right in the center, and put your right hand onto the block. Now, if it's easy for you to reach the floor, you don't need the block. I'm just gonna use it for demonstration purposes. Left arm on the inhale is gonna open up into a twist. And as you exhale, bring that hand back down to center. Good, switch off, inhale, other side. Om Mane Padme Hum. Exhale, Om Mane Padme Hum. And repeat, inhale, other side. Keep going, we're gonna do a few more on each side. We're gonna do one more on each side. Okay, after that, we're going to stay in the forward fold. You can stay in the halfway up shape with or without blocks, or you can fold over your legs coming into the wide leg forward fold, 
Hands can stay in line with your feet or hold on to your ankles. We'll come in for five cycles of breath. So I'm gonna come up so I can talk to you guys easier. The only thing is without the earbuds, when I change orientation, sometimes I think you might lose me. I'll have to find out if that's the case from you guys. Let's hold it there, a couple more breaths. As you exhale, you might give a little squeeze to your belly. Make sure you complete that exhale. Probably got about two more cycles of breath. After your fifth breath, go ahead, come back up about halfway, heel toe, those feet back in until they feel close enough that you can bring hands to hips and we'll rise up to a standing position, coming back into mountain pose, step your feet back again. All right, hold there for a breath once you get to the top. All right, and then let's inhale, reach the arms up. We're gonna come down to our bellies. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale to your halfway lift. And then step back, plank pose, top level push up. We're gonna drop those knees down if you like, lower all the way down to the ground. Okay, we're gonna do cobra. That same rhythm, hands by your lower chest. Tuck the chin in a little bit so we're not sticking that chin out. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Repeat. And as you lower, let that forehead touch down to the ground. Now, if you want to add a little bit of a challenge, inhale up, and as you exhale, zipper the legs together and lift your shins and feet off the ground. So it's like a little bobbing action. Inhale up, exhale down, the feet and shins might lift. Two more. Last one. And then let's go ahead, release, stack your hands under your forehead, wiggle your hips out. Another breath cycle here. Okay, see if you can interlace your hands behind your back like we did a few other poses, forehead on the ground. Press into the tops of your feet, engage your legs, lift your kneecaps. And then inhale, lift your head, chest, and shoulders. Exhale down, turn your head to one side. Inhale, center. Om Mane Padme Hum. Release, turn your head the other way. Couple more, inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. One more each side. If you want to add, you can lift your legs this time. Inhale, center. Exhale. Last one. Release your arms. Stack them under your forehead. This time, pick your feet up and either windshield wiper or circle your shins around. 
and release. If you're circling, go the other way. Release your feet down, slide back, child's pose. Let's take three breaths here. Slowly start to make your way back up. And we're gonna come around into a seated posture. And you might wanna grab something to sit on. Keep your strap and a block nearby. Okay, so legs out in front of you, sitting on the edge of a prop so that you feel a little tip of your pelvis. You wanna be on the tops of your sit bones. And we're gonna pull the left leg back like tree pose and just take that right leg a little wider. So we get a nice wide position here. So this knee is where we might wanna add a little support if you feel like you need it. So if there's strain in your knee, if it's floating a bit, it might be nice to have a block or um, a blanket folded up or pillow underneath it. And we're gonna turn toward the bent leg side, so towards your left, good. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, turn a little more. Hold here another breath cycle. Good, now keep your chest turning as much as you can to the left. Bring your right hand back to your right leg. That's it. And slide that hand down and either hold your chin, your ankle, or your foot. You could also use a strap. We're still turning the chest toward the left knee. Now we're gonna inhale that left arm up. Good. And then we're gonna pause here for the exhale. And we're gonna move with that rhythm. So inhale, reach that arm over your head to the side. And exhale, come up. Good. Inhale, Om Mane Padme Hum. And come up, Om Mane Padme Hum. So on your own, go ahead and do a few more. That arm could just go straight up. It doesn't have to go over your ear. And so what it feels like for your body, two more rounds. Last one. Good, now both arms up, inhale. Exhale, turn towards your right leg. Release your hands on either side of that leg. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, walk it out any amount. Good, you might even use your strap around your foot if this is challenging. And now let's go ahead and repeat. Inhale, lift your chest up. Keep your fingertips on the ground. Exhale, fold. Let the chin come in. And repeat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Three more. After your next one, we're gonna hold it for our five breaths. And now stay down there wherever you can, hold for five breaths. Good. 
Let that breath be nice and soft and subtle, just like we worked on last week. Breathing into your belly. The chin is in rather than sticking out. One more breath. After you finish your exhale, slowly, slowly use your hands, bring yourself back up to the center and pause. Take a full breath. Good, and then we'll switch out. Left leg extended, right leg comes in. Remember to support that knee if that's uh, elevated or tender there. And we're gonna turn toward that right leg. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, turn a little more into the twist. Okay, bring your left hand back to your left leg. Slide that hand down, hold wherever you can. You can use your strap if you want to. Other arm is gonna reach up. Good, inhale, side bend. Looks like we did that side angle flow. And come up. Good, repeat on your own. Two more. Tracy, you and I are just synced up in this one. <laughs> I can see us we're moving the arms out with exactly the same. I can't see everybody else as clearly because they're farther away. All right, we're gonna reach both arms up. Inhale, exhale, turn toward your straight leg. And then go ahead and fold, bring your hands wherever they land, shift on your sit bones so you feel a little bit more facing that leg. And then five rounds, inhale, lift up. Exhale and fold in. And repeat, you can always bend that straight leg too if it feels like it's too much with the knee bent, a knee straight. Take one more round, and then when you're ready, you're gonna stay in it for your five breaths. You might feel and notice into that kind of right lower back area. You might need to send a little breath in there. After your fifth breath, very carefully starting to walk those hands back in. Pause in the center. And then from here, we'll bring both feet together into our bound angle position. Let's check on time. Okay. So let's slide the feet out a little farther. So we're gonna go in a longer bada konasana. It's more like a diamond shape with the feet. Slide your hands down towards your ankles or your feet. 
pause there and kind of stick your tushy out behind you. You want to think about your sit bones and tailbone tipping back so they're not tucked under you. You might need to rock a little, yeah. If this is challenging on your knees, go ahead and stick a block under each knee, okay? Or a rolled blanket or pillow, whatever you have there. And then again, let's find this pulsation. Good, so inhale, lift up. Exhale, folding in. On your own, go ahead and continue. And if you find this is not happy on your knees, feel free to do straight leg position. That's fine too. At this point in the practice, you might even feel like you want to take a pause at the end of that exhalation before you start the inhale phase. Only if that feels natural. I notice that as I repeat this, every time I'm going a little bit lower, just naturally. Now let's hold it for our five breaths. If it's too much to fold, you can take your five breaths in a vertical position as an option. After your fifth breath, very slowly starting to walk yourself up. Take your time. Pause when you get to the top and let's straighten those legs out. All right, so we made it. Let's go ahead, come on to your back. We've got a couple minutes before Shavasana, so not quite there yet, but have anything nearby that you might want to uh, grab for Shavasana if you want to cover with something or put support under your knees. You could have a pillow under your head here, that would be fine. We're going to have our feet flat, knees bent. Take your arms out to a T. And we're just going to do some simple windshield wipers just to release everything. Knees to the right, head to the left. Om Mane Padme Hum. And then over to the other side. Om Mane Padme Hum. And now on your own, just go side to side at that really slow pace. Sometimes we do these windshield wipers really fast. And I want you to go really slow comes a little bit more like our somatic work. Somatic movements are very slow, very mindful. Let's do two more on each side. Coming back to the center, bring your knees into your chest. Rock a little bit here if you like. 
And then either just stay here with your knees hugging in for five breaths or come into your happy baby for five breaths. So your choice, feel like a knee hug, let that lower back relax. We want a happy baby, come into happy baby. We'll hold for a few more seconds. All right, and then from here, let's go ahead and find your Shavasana. So you can let those feet come down to the ground. Let your legs come out. Make any adjustments that you need to be comfortable. Maybe a little wiggle or bounce to your legs. And then settling into your back body. Letting everything go now. I'm just noticing how you feel here with this practice of coherence, rhythm, regulating, and noticing the systems of your body, the respiration, the circulation, nervous system, even our digestion is better when we have rhythm. So you might notice when we go on vacation, we're out of our normal rhythm of our lives and our digestion is sometimes off when we go away. So it's very regulating our whole body to come into this kind of coherence. As you continue to rest, I'll share today's reading. I've gotten back to reading some Mark Nepo lately, and this is called At the Pace of Creation. Slowing how we think and feel and take in the world is directly related to being centered. The wisdom traditions all have some form of meditation or prayer that is aimed at slowing us into this center where the very pace of creation breathes. In their own way, all spiritual practices help us reclaim this centeredness because being centered in this way plunges us again and again into that unseeable stream in which life is continually vital and refreshed. At the pace of creation, all things breathe the same way. So when we slow and open and center ourselves, we breathe in unison with all of life. And breathing this way, we draw strength from all life. When we slow down and breathe, we reach like trees into everything open and whole skies of cloud drift in unison with the dreams of an entire people. If we can slow to the pace of creation, truth will sweep like a flock of birds from the mountains we climb. At the pace of creation, the beginning enters us and we are new. When courageous enough to relax our soul open, the pace at which our mind thinks slows to the pace at which our heart feels. And amazingly, together, they unfold the rhythm with which our eyes can see the miracle waiting in all that is ordinary.
Just a couple of more moments. See how you feel here at the end of practice. Gradually invite in a more conscious breath. Gradually invite in small movements. And taking your time when you feel ready to go ahead and make some bigger movements, some stretching, some knee hugs. Before coming over on to your side for a brief pause. When you're ready, go ahead and press yourself up. We'll meet in a seated posture. Let's let your hands rest down for a moment. Sit up tall on your sit bones. And either a soft gaze or close the eyes. And take a couple more rounds of focusing on the mantra and the breath. Fill up into the belly and then slowly exhale. Of course, when we slow the breath, we also slow the pace of our thoughts. It's regulating for our minds as well. Let's bring our hands now together in front of the heart space. And take an inhale, and as you exhale, bowing your head down to your heart. Namaste. Thank you, guys.